when the first ray of the morning sunshine reflects on the roof of the magnificent Patala Palace, the beautiful Zongjiablukong Park behind the palace appears in people's view. After circumambulating the palace in a clockwise motion, many stroll in the park is a daily routine. While many come to the fitness areas to stretch their legs and arms to get some exercise, some join the group dance and the others do Tai Chi. As we can see, everybody is full of vitality, peace and cheerfulness. In this park, we can see children running around and playing, elders spinning prayer wheels in their hands and murmuring sutras, and we can hear birds singing on trees. Hello, Dutch Delay everyone. I'm Ben Denima from the Travel Bureau of China Daily. Right now, I'm in the Zongjiablukong Park behind the Potala Palace in Lhasa, capital of the Tibet Autonomous Region. Today, I want to show you a little bit about the morning life of the park. Well, one of the most eye-catching scenes of the park is the Tibetan circle dance, or Gorshi in Tibetan language. The Gorshi dance is widely practiced by local residents across the region, and it is more popular in Tibet's northern city of Naktu and eastern Chamdu city. The Gorshi is also performed during Tibetan festivals, such as the Horse Racing Festival, the Tibetan Losar New Year, and the Shortun Festival. When the Gorshi dance is performed, people, regardless of race, age, and gender, are all welcome to join in. The melodious Tibetan music and the harsh movements will make you relaxed and exhilarated. Have a try, come on. Apart from the Gorshi dance, which is an indispensable part of the entertainment in the park, we are going to take a look at another dance, which is Nomatoshi. Nomatoshi is a classic Tibetan dance, and it is a combination of music and the dancing steps. After doing their religious practice, some people come to the Zongjiablukong Park to take part in the Nomatoshi. They quit up hand in hand, and the graceful postures are both elegant and the noble. With the delightful dancing steps gradually disappearing, we come to a slow motion sport which is Tai Chi. It is more suitable for older generation. Tai Chi, a traditional Chinese martial art, is also widely practiced in Tibet. People believe doing Tai Chi would greatly contribute to their health, including improving cardiac function, softening blood vessels, and relieving the symptoms of hypertension, hyperlipidemia, hyperglycemia. A Tai Chi group is formed as elders often gather together for the common interest, and they call each other Tai Chi Body. Uh, this is what Zongjiablukong Park and the morning of Lhasa look like every day. The morning of Lhasa is colorful, pleasant, and beautiful. Welcome you to Lhasa, Tibet. <laughs>